Hello everyone, Sabrina here from Scrappy Tales Crafts and today is the Home is Where Mom is blog and video hop and I am starting off the hop with my video and I will be showcasing the Rose Trellis 6x8 stamp set and the new Mother's Day Circle sentiment dies. I did do all of my stamping and coloring off camera because I do already have a video showcasing how I color up some of the images from the stamp set. So I didn't want my video to be too long because this is a pretty large hop and I want you guys to be able to have time to watch everyone's videos and read everyone's blogs. So for my first card, I'm going to be creating a slimline easel card. This is actually my very first easel card I've ever made and it's really easy to make. So I have a panel here that is cut to three and three quarters by 11 inches and I scored it at three inches. And then I have another panel which is cut to three and three quarter inches by eight inches. So here I'm trimming it down to the eight inches and it's going to line up perfectly with the one that I scored at three inches. And this is not long enough to be a slimline card, so I'm going to take another panel cut to three and three quarter by eight inches, and I'm going to score it at four inches. And that is going to extend the front of my card base, and this is also going to be the easel mechanism. And I did learn this from a Jennifer McGuire tutorial, so I'll have her video linked below. She has some other easel card examples, and this one was a very easy tutorial to follow. But I am adding some ETG tape to the top of the score line on that 11 inch panel. I lined up my other panel that I scored at four inches, and as you can see, that lines up perfectly and I just tape that right over. And then I have my other panel, which is just cut to three and three quarter by eight inches, and I'm going to be using this as my card panel that I'm going to glue onto the easel mechanism later on. So this is a bit of a weird card size. I went with the one that Jennifer had in her video, but you can definitely change up um, how big or small you want this card to be, but I just kept it simple and kept with her measurements. And I actually really like this size, so I'll probably do it again for another slimline card. But I want to create a pink sky for this card, so I'm using some Picked Raspberry Distress Oxide ink and a Simon Says Stamp Cloud Stencil to ink on some clouds onto this panel here. I thought it would be a little bit different because I have been doing a lot of blue clouds with this stencil on my channel lately, so I thought pink would be a nice change. And then I do have some grass that I cut from the Everyday Borders die set. And as you can see, it's very bright. So I'm going to tone it down with some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink at the bottom. And I toned it down even more with my Peeled Paint Distress ink because it was still too bright and the leaves on the trellis are much more muted. So I kind of wanted the grass to match that color of the leaves. And I did go with yellow roses on this trellis. I think it would have been really cute to do pink and yellow. Um, but here you can see the slimline everyday borders is long enough to go on a horizontal slimline card. So when you cut it, you can actually get a couple strips that you can add to a vertical slimline card. So for the sentiment on this card, I cut the Happy Mother's Day Circle from the Mother's Day Circle sentiments twice from white cardstock and once from black cardstock and once from gold. I'm going to layer the two white ones together and then on top of the two white, I'm going to add my black Happy Mother's Day. And this sentiment is actually inside of a circle when you die cut it. So I did snip these words apart because I just wanted the words. So you can definitely get more use out of these dies than just using them as they're intended in the circle. Okay, so at first I thought I was just going to stick with the black. Um, I had the gold already cut because I had a feeling I might like the gold as well. And I think the black looks very striking. But I really loved how it looked with the gold added on top. 
with the words being slightly offset so that you can still see the black underneath. I think this is a great way if you don't have like a shadow included with your word dies, you can easily create a shadow by just offsetting and layering multiple die cuts on top of each other. So the white die cuts were there just to add more dimension and the black was there to just, I guess, define the word more, help it stand out. And I really like how this turned out. And so that is going to fill the sky portion up. Here you can see that grass is much darker than it was. It's not quite as bright. So I'm going to glue the back grass flat to the panel and the grass that's in the front I'm going to pop up with foam tape. And you can see that I originally was just going to use a dog, but I thought I had some more room in the grass to tuck in another little critter. So I used the cat from the Rose Trellis 6x8 stamp set. So these little animals are meant to sit on the benches that come in the stamp set. You get a stone bench and like a white wooden bench. So they look really cute kind of sleeping on those, but you can also tuck them into grass. You can put them like on a windowsill. They're just really cute little animals. And I love that I was able to use both of them on this card. So I did glue down my rose trellis flat. I'm going to glue my cat flat, but I am going to pop up my dog using some foam tape. And then I'll go ahead and adhere my sentiment to the top here. So I'm going to glue the happy by itself and then I will glue Mother's Day on the same row. And then that's pretty much going to complete my little scene here. I am going to embellish this card with some iridescent rhinestones, but before I do that, I'm going to adhere this panel onto a black mat. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know I love my black mats. I really think that they help to draw your eye in towards the center, and I just left a 1 8 of an inch border all around. So here I'm pulling in those rhinestones and I'm just going to scatter those going from the bottom left to the top right. I will add a couple directly onto the trellis, but most of them are kind of scattered around the sentiment and the trellis. All right, and then we can add this to our easel card, but I first need the part inside the card that's going to help stand the card up. So I decided to stamp out another sentiment. This one is from the Rose Trellis stamp set, and this is a beautiful sentiment. I could see myself using this for a lot of different cards. This says, wishing you a day filled with smiles and laughter, wishing you a day as special as you. So this is great for birthday, Mother's Day, friendship, really any sort of occasion, thinking of you. So I just think that's a really pretty sentiment. So to attach my panel, I'm just going to add my ATG tape to the bottom part of that four inch score line. And I'm going to leave the top open so that obviously this can stand upright. And there are some more like advanced easel cards that I want to give a try where you can, where there's like pull tabs and they automatically stand by themselves without the need for one of these that I'm adding. So I'll definitely experiment. I thought that this was a good start and I think it's really cute. So I glued my sentiment down and just to add like some more gold, I just added a gold strip above it and that is going to hold it um, upright. And it is falling because I keep lifting it up. I'm trying to show it on camera but it will actually stand on a desk, which is really fun. And if I were to do this again, if I had more time, I would have added the pink cloud stencil to the bottom part of that sentiment just to tie everything in. But I still think that this looks really cute. And I love the little bit of gold on both of the sentiments. And this stamp set is just so adorable. I love how serene 
these scenes turn out. I do have a video on my channel where I showcase this stamp set for sneak week and I just have so many ideas with it and I love that the rose trellis and the benches are a pretty large size so they work great for slim lines and A7 cards. And speaking of A7 cards, my next card is an A7. So I'm going to pull in the slimline wood grain background die. This is from the new release and I'm going to cut it from cream cardstock. And I want to show you how this cuts. This is actually a very intricate die and it cuts out all of these skinny strips of paper and then you're just left with a wood grain panel that you can layer onto the same paper or a different colored paper. It's just a really cool background die and a lot of the design team members have embossed with this die and that also looks really cool. But this is just going to add like some texture to the background of my card. So I'm going to glue this more towards the left. And then you can see I have my rose trellis already stamped, colored, and die cut. As I mentioned, I colored this one with my colored pencils. I love the look of craft paper with color pencils. And because I wanted the trellis to be like a wooden trellis, I figured why not use the craft in my advantage because it's already brown. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. And I went with white roses because this is actually a wedding card. Now it's not a traditional wedding card. It's more of like a rustic type of card. So I would imagine this going to like a barn wedding couple. And this is actually very similar to what my wedding invites look like. The same color scheme here. And I thought that the rose trellis would be perfect for a wedding card. My mom actually gave me the suggestion and so I decided to try it out. And this is an A7 panel. I don't, yeah, I did mention that already. Sorry guys. It's like 1230 at night. I am um, per usual late on this video. So I decided to add a little bow to the bottom of this card. So I have some like cream twine and I'm just taping it to the back. I am going to trim the ends once I glue this to a card base, but I'm just using that washi tape to temporarily hold that twine down to the back. I also went ahead and tied a bow and I'm going to glue that over to the left. The rose trellis stamp set comes with a little bouquet of roses, which I thought was very cute for a wedding as well. You know, it kind of looks like a bouquet a bride might hold. And for my sentiment on this card, I'm actually using the Home Furnishings stamp set. There is a sentiment in there that says, wishing you many years of love and happiness in your new home. So I masked out in your new home, and I'm just going to stamp out wishing you many years of love and happiness. And that works very well for a wedding card or maybe even like an engagement card. So I'm going to gold heat emboss that. I stamped it inside of a cream stitched oval. And that is going to go over to the left along with that bouquet of roses. I'm going to pop up the oval and I did not add any uh, foam tape where it overlaps that twine because it's already dimensional. And then I'll go ahead and glue the bow to the left. And then I'm going to embellish this card with some pearls and then glue it onto my white A7 card base. And that is going to complete my second card. So while I finish gluing everything together for this card, I do want to talk a little bit about the hop. So we are giving away three $25 gift certificates to Scrappy Tails Crafts. All you have to do is comment. Um, on every video and blog along the hop. You don't have to comment on all of them, but if you can, that's just more opportunities to win. So the more you comment, the more you'll be entered into the three giveaways. Um, you also have to subscribe to the Scrappy Tales channel. And I would also say to consider subscribing to the other members on the hop um, because they're all amazingly talented ladies. 
Everyone on the hop is going to be featuring a couple products from the new release, so you're sure to be inspired and hopefully get some ideas. Remember to use the affiliate links from the designers that you really like, and also to use code STCYouTube10 at checkout to get 10% off your order. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you haven't yet already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post my next video. All right, guys, have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye.